Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at 12 signs that you should stop drinking alcohol right now. Now, just before we get into those signs, I want to mention one thing to you. I'm not making this video to scare you. I'm not trying to guilt you into not drinking alcohol. At the end of the day, that's your decision. That's entirely up to you what you want to do with this information. But the reason why I'm making this video is because I truly believe that we don't necessarily need to be taught new information all the time. Sometimes we just need to be reminded. We need somebody to just kind of give us a nudge, help us look at the situation, and then we can start solving the problem. Now, whilst some of these signs, they, they might be quite obvious, right? It might not be the most profound video in the world, it doesn't matter. What will happen after watching this video is it'll just give you a bit of a nudge, a bit of a spur, get you into action mode. And if you're looking for a fresh approach to stop drinking alcohol that doesn't rely on AA, willpower, rehab, therapy, none of that stuff, actually click the link in the description and there'll be a video training that shows you how to apply something called first principles thinking to get control of your drinking. So as you watch this video, you know, if any of these signs are apparent in your life, definitely click the link in the description to watch that video training. And now let's get into it. The very first sign that it is time to stop drinking alcohol is that you can no longer serve the people closest to you at the highest level anymore. Now, this was something that happened in my journey of not drinking alcohol. I started to realize, you know, I couldn't serve people. I couldn't like start a business, helping people, offering services to people. I couldn't look after my family the same way. I couldn't look after my relationship that I was in at the time. And what happened in, in my experience is that I just couldn't serve people at the highest level. And maybe that's apparent for you as well. Maybe you're married right now and you can't serve your husband. You can't serve your wife at the highest level. Maybe your children are just you know, they're in your life, but you're not spending enough quality one-on-one -on -one time with them. Maybe you have a business or a career and you're not able to serve your customers the way that you want to serve them. Maybe you're involved in your church and you're, and you're not volunteering and giving your time to people. You're just kind of doing the bare minimum to not lose people, but you're not serving them at the highest level. And you know, it's very easy to get to a place where we're not at the highest level possible when we drink alcohol. And if you know that's you, then... Maybe it's time to just change things. Maybe it's time to start saying, yeah, I'm going to stop drinking and I'm going to start serving people at a higher level. I'm going to give more. At the end of the day, you know, we get what we give. And my philosophy is just to give, give, give. But that's only possible if I don't drink alcohol. And maybe that's the same for you as well. So that's number one. And number two, another sign is that health is starting to be impacted, right? Maybe you're having some health issues come up, you know, some issues with organs, you know, maybe your feet are swelling up, your face is bloated, you're, you put on some weight. And this is a warning sign. Because at the end of the day, if health is starting to be impacted at the point that you're at right now, it can be a slippery slope downwards. These problems can get progressively worse. And I've done a lot of videos talking about, you know, health benefits and health dangers of not drinking alcohol and how it increases risks of disease, etc, etc. But the best thing that you can do if you believe that your health is being impacted by alcohol is to look at the situation, it's to analyze it, it's to break it down from first principles and really ask yourself, is alcohol actually doing anything for me? Because the answer that you will get to that question is no. If you do enough introspection, enough study, enough reading, you will come to the answer that all alcohol is, is a drug that does nothing for you. So there's number two. And number three, the third sign is that you regularly say to yourself that you'll just have one drink, right? You'll just have one drink tonight, or you'll just have, you know, a couple of glasses. And then the couple of glasses turns into a bottle. The one beer turns into a 12 pack. If you do this regularly, that is a sign. That is a sign that you're drinking too much. And it's a sign that it's time to stop drinking alcohol. And I'm not trying to bully you or push you around. I'm not trying to say that what you're doing is wrong. I have done this. You know, there have been just infinite number of times that I've said, Leon, tonight, you're just going to have one beer. And then before you know it, it's 2 a.m. I'm hammered. I'm, I'm in a taxi home with a kebab. Ugh, man, just I've done it, right? I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. But if you're regularly telling yourself, I'll just have one, I'll control it this time. And then boom, back to square one. That is a sign. That is a warning sign. There are people out there that do just have one or two drinks, right? These are the so-called normal drinkers. And I'll get to that a little bit later on in the video. And in fact, we'll go to that point now. So at number four is you actually look at these people that have one or two drinks with a little bit of envy, right? You look at them in admiration. How can they be in control of alcohol? I want to be like them. I want to have just one or two here and there. And what we can often do is, you know, we can have prolonged periods without drinking. So I've done it before, you know, three, six, nine months without drinking, no problems. And then I'd start to buy into the idea that these normal drinkers are something to envy, right? They're doing something awesome. They got their life together. You know, they might have a great career, great business, great life, and they have one or two drinks. And I look at them and I think, well, if they can do it, surely I can, right? If they can 
you know, just have one or two. Why can't I? Eventually, it gets to a point where I say, well, I'll give it a go. And this is a dangerous way to think. But also, it's a warning sign that it's probably time to permanently stop drinking, right? It's probably time to change your perception, change your mindset, change your worldview, see alcohol for what it is, and put this problem behind of you. Because once you've done that, you no longer look at these people with envy. You look at them and you feel sorry for them. Like they're putting a poison in their body. They're drinking a drug. They're buying into an illusion that somehow this will enhance their life. And when you can see that, you don't look at these people with envy anymore. So if you're looking at normal drinkers with envy, that's a sign that maybe you need to work on your mindset. Maybe you need to read some more books, invest in some courses, get some help, and just get to the bottom of it. The fifth sign that it's time to stop drinking alcohol is that when you're not drinking alcohol, you miss it, right? You're going to work and then, you know, maybe you go to work with a bit of a hangover, you know, lunchtime comes around, it gets to 1 or 2 p.m. and you're like, I just can't wait to get home and have a drink. You know, maybe you go a few days without drinking, but those whole, you know, those three or four days that you don't drink alcohol, it's just pure willpower, right? You're just like, I just can't wait to have a drink. And but then you resist and then you get to the next day, I'll just get through today, resist again. And then before you know it, the willpower has run out, you know, it's all kind of built up in your head of this great idea of having a drink and then boom, back to square one. And if you feel like an emotional pull towards alcohol and drinking, then that is a sign that it is time to knock this on the head. The reason why we feel this strong pull towards alcohol is because it's a drug, right? I don't feel this way if I was to say, stop eating broccoli, right? I'm not gonna feel this strong pull to broccoli. If I said to myself, I'm never eating broccoli again, I know it's a weird example, but if I said that to myself, there will be no emotional pull. I'm not gonna see adverts of broccoli and go, damn, look at that person eating broccoli, right? Why? Why can I do that with one thing, but not with alcohol? Well, because broccoli is not an addictive drug. It's not something that I've been conditioned since birth to see as a good thing. Well, I guess in a way, broccoli you have done, but you know, you're not like, this sophisticated individual if you consume broccoli, right? You're not like bravado, you're not like glamorous. No, it's broccoli. So I've not been conditioned to see it, but it's also not a drug. But alcohol is a drug. And if you miss alcohol and you feel a pull towards it, that's normal, right? That's not the nature of you. You're not powerless, you're not an addict, you're not an alcoholic or anything like that. I'm not saying that. It's the nature of the drug and it's the nature of how the drug is designed. The nature of alcohol is to drink one drink again and again and again and again and again. And if you don't drink it, yeah, of course you're going to miss it because that's what a drug is designed to do. It's an addiction. And I know for some of you, you might not be ready for that. You know, I've spoken to people before, you know, and they've said, I don't have a drug problem. I drink alcohol. I don't do drugs. And it's like, well, dude, alcohol is a drug, right? You're addicted to a drug, but they don't want to see that. So, you know, and maybe this is a little bit too hardcore for some of you guys, but I'm going to say it anyway, which leads me to the sixth sign. And the sixth sign is that you dread social events if you know you're not gonna be able to drink alcohol, right? I used to dread those kind of events when I was drinking. And sometimes, you know, I might just sneak in a couple of drinks before anyway. You know, maybe there are certain events that you go to where you know you can't drink, but you actually don't even go. You avoid these kind of situations. You'd rather go and hang out with your buddies or just stay home and drink on, drink on your own. But the great thing is, is that when you remove alcohol, these social events become so much more enjoyable because your confidence is restored, your energy is restored. So that's another sign. The seventh sign that it's time to stop drinking alcohol is that you know that you are procrastinating. You're not being productive, right? There have been, you know, so many people that I speak to that are thinking about, you know, working with me and getting help in the Sober Clear program, applying first principles thinking, and they say that they don't face that list of stuff that they've got to do. You know, they might have projects around the house. They might have, you know, Things, places that they want to go, travel to, hobbies that they want to restart. But this list has been there for years, right? It's just like, oh, I'll deal with this tomorrow, have a drink. Oh, I'll deal with this tomorrow, have a drink. And if you're doing that and you know that you're procrastinating and you know that you're not seizing the day, then that is another sign. That's another sign that you are drinking alcohol instead of dealing with life. But the great thing is, is that when you do remove the alcohol, the energy comes back, the clarity starts coming back, you're able to execute more effectively. And you know, these bigger lists that you might have had there for, for a few months, a few years even, they just start to get ticked off. So that's number seven. And number eight, you know that your energy levels are not like before, right? Maybe five, 10, 20 years ago, you were just energetic. If I think about what I was like as a teenager, I had so much energy. I was running around like a madman but I also hadn't drank alcohol. But then as soon as I started drinking alcohol, it's like I became sluggish, I became tired. And if you reflect back and look back at previous years of your life where maybe you were drinking less or you weren't drinking at all, or maybe this was even before you started drinking, you were probably a different kind of person. I hear people say this a lot, that they stop drinking and it's like they become a different person. It's like the old them is back. You know, there was a guy in the program called Kevin and Kevin's not drank for over a year. After 40 years of daily drinking, 
and his wife would call him Kevin 2.0. She was just so happy with the change. There was another guy in a program called Rob, and after he stopped drinking, his daughter was like, Dad, I've got you back. It's like the old dad was back again. But that is a huge one. And number nine, you are disconnected with your spirituality. Maybe your connection with, with God is just not what it used to be. You might do the things, you might go to the church, you might read the Bible, you might read the holy book of whatever religion you are, but you know that your connection with God is just not the same. You know, maybe in the past it was much stronger, but the alcohol is clouding it. Maybe you're not religious at all. Maybe you're, you know, you're, you're more into a different kind of spirituality. Maybe for you, spirituality is, is, is meditating, it's being mindful. And even then, if you know that that's being impacted, maybe it's time to question things. Maybe it's time to say goodbye to alcohol. At number 10, you are no longer engaging in hobbies, right? If you know that, you know, maybe before you loved playing golf, you did painting, you did all of these cool things, but nowadays there's kind of no time for hobbies anymore because your evenings are just filled with drinking. Again, another sign. When I drank alcohol, I, I don't think I had a single hobby, right? Maybe just like a bit of fitness stuff, going to the gym, but that was it. Like I just had no hobbies because the only thing that I really cared about was drinking. It was going out, it was buying drinks, and that was it. And in fact, if, if you'd have asked me at the time, like, what was my hobby? My hobby was going out. That was a hobby of mine. It was drinking, being around friends. That's not a hobby, that's drug addiction. Now, the 11th sign is that you know that you are not living up to your potential, right? This is my main motivation to not drink alcohol, because I know that I could do so much more, I could be so much more, and when I'm drinking alcohol, there is no way in hell that I am ever gonna reach any kind of potential. I'm never gonna create the life that I want for myself if I continue to drink. And maybe you know that as well. Maybe you know that you are not living up to your potential. You could be doing so much more. You could be giving so much more. You could be being so much more. You could be helping so many more people. And if you know that that's the case, it's time to get rid of alcohol, right? It's time to do the introspection, it's to do the work, it's to figure things out and put this behind of you. Because when you do that, that's when you can start going towards your potential. That's when you can start living that 10 out of 10 life with great health, you know, a great relationship, a great career, great contribution in the world, a great sense of purpose. That is exciting. Which leads me to the final point. And the final sign that it's time to stop drinking alcohol is that you are sick of it. I was sick of it. I was sick of it from pretty much, you're sick of the hangovers, you're sick of the low levels of energy, you're sick of all the things that I've spoken about in this video. And if that is you and you want to work with me in the Sober Clear program, where we use first principles thinking to reframe how you actually view alcohol, and then there's coaching, there's a community of business owners and professionals. If you wanna learn more about that, then click the link in the description because we can do this together. You don't need to do it on your own. If you're seeing these signs, let's have a conversation, right? If you click the link, you can book a call. There'll be a few questions to answer. You'll see my calendar. We'll jump on a call and we'll figure out if we could work together solving this problem. So if you've tried to stop in the past, maybe AA, maybe willpower, maybe therapy, maybe a rehab, and it's not worked for you, but these signs are apparent in your life, then please click the link in the description, book a call. Super excited to speak with you. Have a great day.